high-pressure sodium lights or light-emitting diodes leds well here's a head-to-head -head comparison of the two followed by an in-depth discussion of each technology in turn high-pressure sodium vapor hbs lights similar to lps lights or a specific type of gas discharge light also known as a high-intensity discharge hid or arc light the principal difference between low and high pressure sodium lights is the operating pressure inside the lamp as indicated by the name high pressure sodium vapor lights operate at higher internal pressure the arc tube is made of aluminum oxide and the sodium metal is combined with several other elements like mercury which counterbalances the yellow glow with some white to light blue emissions low pressure sodium vapor lps lights are a specific type of gas discharge light also known as a high intensity discharge hid or arc light the bulb principally contains solid sodium metal inside a borosilicate glass tube that vaporizes once the lamp is turned on during start the lamp emits a dim reddish slash pink glow once the metal is vaporized the emissions become the characteristic bright yellow associated with sodium vapor lamps the spectrum of visible emissions from an lps light is actually very close together resulting in the colors of illuminated objects being nearly indistinguishable both low and high pressure sodium lights require ignition which is typically provided by a voltage pulse or a third electrode internal to the bulb Starting is relatively simple with small tubes but can require significant voltage with larger lights. Sodium vapor lighting typically requires a warm-up period in order to evaporate the internal gas into plasma. Additionally, as the light heats up it requires additional voltage to operate which is balanced by ballast. As sodium vapor lights age, more and more voltage is required to produce the same amount of light until eventually the voltage exceeds the fixed resistance provided by the ballast and the light goes out fails the lights become less efficient over time because they must use more and more voltage to produce the same lumen output as the light degrades that said hbs lights in particular maintain fairly good light output at their typical end of life among the deficiencies in this lighting are the following one sodium vapor lights have the worst color rendering on the market lps lamps in particular are monochromatic which means that the objects illuminated by them appear shadowy black rather than the color you would see during daylight HBS lamps are better but are still surpassed by virtually every other light on the market. Two sodium vapor lights require a brief warm-up period. Once the arc is ignited it melts and evaporates metal salts, sodium internal to the device. The light doesn't arrive at full power until the salts are fully evaporated into plasma, which can sometimes take up to 10 minutes. The light will appear reddish slash pink when it is first struck, turned on and it will transition to its characteristic yellow as it reaches its normal operating temperature. 1. High pressure sodium lights contain a small amount of toxic mercury. The mercury inside the bulbs is a hazardous material that can present a waste disposal issue at the end of light's life. Broken bulbs release a small amount of toxic mercury as the gas in the rest is contained in the glass itself. 2. Sodium vapor lights are omnidirectional. Omnidirectional lights produce light in 360 degrees. This is a large system inefficiency because at least half of the light needs to be reflected and redirected to the desired area being illuminated. The need for reflection and redirection of light means that the output is much less efficient for omnidirectional lights due to losses than it would be for the same light if it were directional by its nature. It also means that more accessory parts are required in the light fixture itself in order to reflect or focus the luminous output of the bulb. The two different technologies are entirely different methods of producing light. Sodium vapor bulbs contain metals that are evaporated into inert gas within the glass casing while LED or solid state technology. Both technologies are very efficient. The difference is that sodium vapor lights were the most efficient technology of the 1907 as well LED or the modern day equivalent. Although sodium vapor lighting beats virtually every other technology in terms of energy efficiency, it loses out to LED. Both LED and sodium vapor lights emit electromagnetic radiation across a small portion of the visible light spectrum. However, LED wastes much less energy producing waste heat and they also provide an incredibly better variety of high color rendering index options to the user. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.